I'd like to share with you today a couple of thoughts about light. I was blown away by the poem by the poet laureate, the young poet laureate Amanda Gorman at Joe Biden's inauguration. She was just utterly compelling to listen to and to watch. Uh, even watching the way she moved her hands, she was so graceful and um, so articulate, so beautiful. And all of her words expressed, I think, the hope for peace and for unity and for understanding that is needed, not just in the United States, but in our world right now. And she said these, these words, the new dawn blooms as we free it, for there is always light. If only we are brave enough to see it, if only we are brave enough to be it. Jesus spoke a lot about light. I think Amanda Gorman knows her scriptures. And we are people who are still in the season of epiphany, which is for us the season of light and of revelation. And light is such a, an intriguing and uh, complex topic. Light does so much for us. It illumines us. It cheers us. Um, it reveals truth for us. It shows us our path. It shows us the way. It warms us. Light affects us in so many different ways. Jesus often spoke about light and darkness. He said, I am the light of the world. And he also said to his followers, you are the light of the world. He encouraged them to go into the world and show their light to others, to, to be the revealers of truth, to be the revealers of God's kingdom, and to, uh, to shine, a play, shine a light on any dark places. It reminds me of the wonderful hymn, I Heard the Voice of Jesus Say by uh, Horatius Bonar. He was a uh, hymn writer from Scotland. He was born in Edinburgh and he wrote 600 or so hymns. About 100 of them are still in use. And the, uh, the third verse goes like this. I heard the voice of Jesus say, I am this dark world's light. Look unto me, thy morn shall rise and all thy day be bright. I looked to Jesus, and I found in him my star, my sun, and in that light of life I'll walk till travelling days are done. So my prayer for you today, that in these dark, uh, long, wintry days, is that you will still find light, that you will find it in the scriptures, that you will find it walking the neighbourhoods, that you will find it as you sing, as you pray, as you look to Jesus to be the light of the world for you, and that you may also be brave enough, as Amanda Gorman challenged all of us, I believe, to be brave enough to see the light and to be brave enough to be the light of the world. Amen.